Alright, so we've come a long way since discovering that wild species back in June, and now we have a full flush that's many times heavier than the original sample. Furthermore, they actually line up with some of my other favorite fungi. I even have a time lapse of them fruiting, and this is so cool. So here you can see them consolidating the resources. Penning happens quick, and then they fruit over like three to four days before I had to pull them as the caps were getting wavy and really thin. And this is the finished product. I could have pulled them maybe a day earlier so they look a little bit prettier, so they're like rounded on the edges like the original sample. But the morphology is mostly the same actually, like it's the same amount of caps, they all came out from the same direction, so they must have been really happy with the conditions. Next time I'm going to let them go even further than this because one thing that didn't pop up too much were the tiny hairs. Now the surface was definitely very rough, but in the original sample the hairs were like a good millimeter to two millimeters long and this one has none at all. It now, Maybe under the microscope, but not that you can see with the naked eye, but we're gonna do more experiments.